Tuesday night, the BMO Harris Bradley Center saw another classic Butler and Marquette matchup, and behind 17 second half points by Todd Mayo, the Golden Eagles eked one out 69 to 62. But I thought Deontay and Todd were both huge. I thought Chris changed the game and what he did defensively. I also thought um, his basket in the first half was big. I thought his offensive rebound in the second half when we were doing the stuff we were doing was huge. Uh, I thought his putback was big. Uh, but I, I'm glad that Jamil came back to life too other than his foul trouble. In Tuesday night's matchup, the Marquette Golden Eagles saw their sixth different starting lineup of the season against new Big East rival, the Butler Bulldogs. Leading the way for the Golden Eagles in the first half was senior Jameel Wilson, who notched 10 points to lead all scores while also knocking down two three balls. However, it was Butler who would take a two-point advantage into halftime. In the second half, it was all Todd Mayo. After failing to attempt a shot in the first half, the junior guard exploded for 17 points on 7 of 10 shooting. He was 2 for 4 from 3-point land, and his dominating second half performance ignited a much-needed Golden Eagle comeback from 10 down. Butler head coach Brandon Miller discussed the difficulties in defending a player like Mayo. When he makes shots, he's difficult to defend. He's a guy that can, you know, when he shoots the three well, now all of a sudden you have to press up on him. Um, obviously, he can drive the ball. He can finish around the rim. He can make plays for his teammates. And uh, he had it going, especially towards the end of the game. After recording zero points in last Saturday's game versus St. John's, Mayo showed on national television how dangerous of a player he can be and how much he has developed since his freshman season. I'm getting a little bit older and a little bit smarter. And um, the difference between my freshman year, I was just always coming off the bench just, uh, just shooting. But the value of the possession of the game is very, very just thin. So I'm trying to just come in and just just get a sweat going first and then just start attacking. With the victory, Marquette moves once again to 500 in Big East play and avoids the season sweep by Butler. The Golden Eagles will have a one-week layoff as they travel to New Jersey to take on the Seton Hall Pirates next Tuesday. Reporting from the BMO Harris-Bradley Center, Peter Bosch, MUTV Sports.